Hello everyone. Now we will have another Q&A session. And today's topic is again about fluid flow in porous media, especially it's about steady state flow, radial flow for slightly compressible fluid. Okay, so this is our case. The following data are available on a well in the red river field. So we have the external pressure, flowing bottom hole pressure, and drainage radius, well bore radius, oil formation volume factor, oil viscosity, oil compressibility, permeability in Darcy, and net pay thickness. So assuming a slightly compressible fluid, we need to calculate the oil flow rate, and we then will compare the result with that of incompressible fluid. Okay, so we have a slightly compressible fluid case. So in that case, oil compressibility is important. So yeah, we have oil compressibility data right now. I have listed down the data here in this table, but I will add assumption that the flow is steady state and the shape of the reservoir is radial or cylindrical. All right, so let's just solve the case. For a slightly compressible fluid, the oil flow rate can be calculated by this equation. All right, we start with slightly compressible fluid. So we will have oil compressibility in our equation. And by the way, the oil compressibility is 25 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus six. So in Excel, I can type in like this, 25 E to the power of minus six, like this. And it will change directly to 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus five. So they are the same. 25 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus six, it's the same with 2.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus five. Okay, so let's calculate. I will use this equation, open parenthesis for the num numerator, 0 0.00708 multiplied by permeability, or I should change this 0 0.1 to Darcy directly to 120 milli Darcy's. So they are the same, right? Okay, so let's calculate. Open parenthesis, 0 0.00708 multiplied by permeability, 120 milli Darcy's multiplied by thickness, 25 feet close and then I will calculate the denominator this term divided by open parenthesis oil viscosity 2.5 centipoise multiplied by oil formation volume factor and oil compressibility lastly multiplied by logarithmic natural of reservoir or drainage radius 745 feet divided by well bore radius 0 0.25 feet. Close and close again. And lastly, we will calculate this last term. So multiply logarithmic natural open parenthesis one plus oil compressibility multiplied by PE external pressure minus flowing bottom hole pressure close and close again. All right, so it's very easy and straightforward. The flow rate, assuming slightly compressible fluid, is 595 stock tank barrel per day. So we can continue with the next case. Now we will assume incompressible fluid and we can calculate the oil flow rate, all right? And this is the equation for steady state radial flow in compressible fluid. You can see we don't have oil compressibility in this equation. Okay, so let's calculate. 
open parenthesis 0 0.00708 multiplied by permeability multiplied by reservoir or net pay thickness multiplied by delta pressure which is pe minus pwf close divided by the denominator oil viscosity multiplied by oil formation volume factor multiplied by logarithmic natural of re divided by rw close close again all right okay so you can see that the flow rate is 600 stock tank barrel per day. And it's very, very close with the case of slightly compressible. Yeah, From the term itself, you can know that it's slightly compressible. So it will differ slightly between the flow rate from slightly compressible fluid and the flow rate from incompressible fluid. Right, so it's very easy, right? In this case, in this Q&A session, we have solved the case to find the oil flow rate, assuming both slightly compressible fluid and incompressible fluid. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful for our learning. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next Q&A videos. Thank you.